Welcome to the Great Exodus series, God's plan of rescue for his children. Let my people go. The path to Mount Zion. My name is Michael. I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Path Movement Foundation. And our topic today is Moses and Elijah. Moses and Elijah as their role as an intercessor for provision. Not many people are talking about this, but if you look at Moses' life and what he did as an intercessor for the Israelites on the, in, the great, in the Exodus out of Egypt, he prayed to the Lord for provisions and they received manna and quails, yeah, so they had bread and meat. So Moses was a great intercessor for provision. And the Lord listened to him and sent provision down for the Israelites. The same about the water and the stone. When he touched the stone and water came out. Another intercession for provision of Moses' side. And when we look at Elijah and we see the story that he was sent to the poor widow with his son uh, in the time of the famine, and the widow said, I have only this small left and then I will make it for myself and for my son and then I will lay down to die. Then Elijah said, make it for me and you will also have for yourself. So he made a prayer of intercession for provision and then God provided for that poor widow a permanent re-establishment of the flower and the oil, so that they had all the time bread to make and water for sure they also had. And uh, a provision that was permanently there, that never stopped until the famine was over. So you see the great provision that came through the prophets of Moses and Elijah. Not many people are talking about what they have done as intercessors. But we should remember that Moses and Elijah or their spirits are the most important parts of the entire ministries because Moses has guided the people out of Egypt and his spirit now will guide you out in the great exodus from the world. Of course you cannot leave the world where do you go to the moon? No. So this is a spiritual Exodus. The great Exodus is spiritual. You remove yourself from the world and its temptations. That's the spirit of Moses. And you will also receive through Moses, through the spirit of Moses, the provision you need to do that. And then the second is coming out of Babylon. What is the Jezebel spirit? What are the church parts now? So you will come out of that one and you establish your own house churches. This is the Elijah part. Because Elijah restored the altar to its former glory on Mount Carmel. And when you do that and you come out of Babylon, out of the churches, and you create your own dwelling place of Zion in your neighborhood, then the Lord will also provide you permanently, as he did for the poor widow. He will provide you permanently and you will have every month your resources you need. So this is how it will work together in the end times. The spirit of Moses, the spirit of Elijah, as intercessors for provision, that then the Lord our God will send from heaven, so that we have it, even if we stay outside of the world, outside of Babylon, and we do not be anymore a slave to the world system. I hope you liked this topic. And you will do that necessary step, repent, change your life, come out of the world and out of Babylon and establish a dwelling place of Zion, a society of the rose in your neighborhood, so that you can be covered by a cloud and smoke by day and by a flaming fire by night from the Lord, and that you can also receive his provision, not only one time, but permanently. As so long as it is required for you to reach Mount Zion, where you then will be raptured into paradise. I hope you like this topic. If you have any question about 
dwell in places of Zion, about Zion, about the great Exodus, or anything what we teach, please send me an email at triplegrace55 at gmail.com. I'm happy to answer your questions. And I hope I will see you again tomorrow. Have a blessed day. Maranatha.